Hey guys, so I'm I'd... here with a very special guest. Oh, that is, there's nothing special about being a <laughs> guest on I'm this still channel. trying to hype it Thank up. Thank you for being nice, though. Anyway, you may know that we both love food. Good, good yeah. intro, general <laughs> statement there. Dan <laughs> Fell. We, we love, love our, our food. Snack. So we're making this video because we are addicted to an anime called Food Wars. Yes. We are on season three and it is so Life good. Ruining. It's an anime about young people going to a cooking school in Japan where they become the best chefs in the world. And it's all about just watching people make food and yeah. eat it. So we thought, hey, this is like the perfect opportunity to do one of those British versus Japanese thing. But Phil, what's your unique angle? <laughs> well, the unique angle is we're going to be comparing UK versus Japanese school lunches. That is right, people. Those little boxes of joy that you <laughs> carry with you to hell yeah. and back. I've got a UK school uniform. A white shirt and a tie. And yeah, I think we're both very familiar with that. The only thing I could find on Amazon at short notice was the Japanese schoolgirl outfit. So not like a, a black blazer, <laughs> which, no, no, you, you got me the, like the Halloween costume Japanese yeah. schoolgirl. Okay. I think it's going to be a good look. Why do I agree to come on his channel? It's too late now. Again? Strap okay. yourself in, Danny. Is it worth it for the food? Ta-da! <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. This isn't even that bad. It looks pretty in good. In fact, I think it's pretty stylish. I think that more men's fashion in Britain should have this weird collar thing in yeah. the shirt. Are you going to go out and about this on the is town a strong look. wearing it's, that? It's December. I'm not going to go out wearing a skirt. All right. And that's just a physical comfort thing. I'm wearing my tie how the cool kids wore it. Yes. Nice and short. I don't know if that's the case it's, now. Let's get those lunch boxes out for the lads. First of all, we have the one the from British. The British lunch box. Okay. The one from British. <laughs> the one from, the one qualified from British. British person here. Yes. So this is the classic British lunchbox. I actually had one that was more plasticky a, and a clippy. A giant plastic rectangle. But this is all I can find. Improved. It's Mr. Men and the London Underground. Combined in a strange I mix. Like, I don't know how much I'd have wanted this, because <laughs> when you were a British child, you'd go to Woolworths, rest in peace, yeah. and you'd be like, I want the Power Rangers one. I want the Pokemon one. For Japan, we have this baby. Oh my it god. Is as traditional as we could make it. It's, Japanese bento it's box. It's a cat bento. Oh my, look at that. That is just J a beautiful object. Japan is already winning with the design. Is it as practical though? Where's the handle? I don't know. True. I don't know. I'm just saying. Dan doesn't have a clue what is inside I'm, any of this. Yes, well, you know, I have an idea of what might be inside this, but let's see. Uh, have a guess. Some sandwiches, some crisps. I mean, some, some pretty one much. other thing. That's basically it. So okay. we have. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> uh, yes, mate! The golden crisps. Pickled onion monster munch. Okay, this and that's my that childhood. Crisp, that. Then we yeah. also. <laughs> Okay, I thought you were gonna make a sandwich. No. But this is even more British and kind of gross. Dairily Lunchables. Yeah. So this is like the most plastic cheese ham and it crackers. Is. And you kind of create a fake sandwich out of different layers. It's like Lego meets food. It is indeed. And then we have a carton. It's important to be a carton. A carton, definitely. Uh, Ribena. To this day, we reference Ribena a lot and people don't know what it is. Yeah. It's a black currant water but, cordial drink. Well, that's the thing though. In some countries, they don't have black currant as a flavor. Yes, so black currants are berries that look like these. Imagine it's like a raspberry, but on the dark side. I can edge Raspberry. Yeah, totally. One totally that's, seen that's, things. that's totally it. A satsuma. Ah, uh, yes, the token piece of fruit that wouldn't get eaten. No one would eat that. You'd come back and this would just be left. A baby bell a cheese. Baby bell cheese. I would not eat this, as Look you know. That. I'm not a cheese fan. Mm -hmm. And also a dip dab. Which we will get to. Which I always thought was dip dab, so that's a Mandela effect. This is a very generous one. lunchbox. It I even know. has like dessert and fruit. Okay, well, let's tuck in. So any kid with any slice of sense would start with the crisp. I mean, yeah, I mean you what need else to bang you through this for? in order of priority. I, I don't think I've eaten pickled onion monster munch since I was I, I seven. I think we need to give them a little intro here. Okay. These are like simultaneously the lowest of the low, the <laughs> most the unhealthy, of the best. and disgusting, and yet also the best damn thing ever. Oh, it smells of school! It's, it, that's what the classroom smelled that like. That brings me back. They're meant to be in the shape of a monster's foot. A monster, foot. At, like hand or foot? Foot. I always presumed it was hand. I always thought it was the foot. Let's not, you know, limb shame the monsters. Go. Oh, thank you. Prepare for nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm ascending. I don't know what it is. If you've never had pickled onion before, it just is so tangy and it's so stinky. Is there even any potato in that? 
I don't it even know. It was like this oil in the shape of a hand. If you're hungover, you can smash a multi pack of that. Mm. They also have flaming hot, which was like if you were the cool kid, you'd have that. Next up is the Lunchables. Let's snack some stacks. Uh, Phil, Ooh. you are not a cheese fan. I'm are you, not. Are you gonna go for this though? Oh, I, I can smell the cheese. I don't think I can do it. Ooh, that's, uh, that's some. It smells like it's been vacuum packed. That's some strong cheese. This is some American cheese. Phil, you have to have. Oh, I don't want to eat the cheese. You have to. You're okay. Do you want to swap? Oh. Do you want to put on the schoolgirl out no. there, right? Oh, it's such a thick slice. Come on. Oh, I can't do it. People are judging you right now. People are going to school with Lunchables. I don't like cheese, though. It's barely counts as cheese, Phil. Uh. Um, yes. Who needs a sandwich when you got that? Oh. oh, get over it. Okay, the saltiness of the crackers. Oh, wow, okay. This is. I, I was it's expecting like a MasterChef review, but go on. Disguising the cheese, which is good. If it didn't have the cheese in, I would just like whack a stack of these. Mm. We don't need to eat Satsuma. Yeah, y'all know what the fruit is. Bye. Right? Okay. Phil, the baby I'm bell. I'm not eating more cheese. The baby bell's weird because it's like cheese wrapped in a tiny wax circle. It's so weird. And it would always like, you'd, you'd leave this wax container in the pocket of your coat or something <laughs> and then you'd find it three months later. Or there'd always be a kid that could like model stuff out Model of it. stuff and then you'd just like throw it at people. I mean, yeah. look at that. That is a weapon and in a school. I had a friend called Dustin that would eat the wax. So, <laughs> don't know if oh. he's still alive. Oh, there's always a Dustin oh, that people Dustin. make eat the wax. Come on, Phil. No! <laughs> 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 Oh, I can't I do this video. Time. Not too cheesy. I love Mia Baby Bell to this day. Ugh. And then the Ribena carton. Yes, I always did I... this to my cartons before I drank them. Is that weird? Does that do anything? It just, I, I don't... thought it made it have more liquid in. <laughs> that, that makes, how did you do in physics class, Makes Phil? sense I'm not if you're sure. a kid. Oh, sure. Because, yeah, okay, that's another weapon in British yeah. playgrounds. Right. Yes, it is, let's, it's violent. Let's see who can get it in one go. You're not puncturing along with some oh, adrenaline right now. Right. Right. A depth perception test. Yeah. Go. Oh! Incredible. I've peaked. Give us give us your finest suck. Yes. Mm. Look at that. There's not much li you're dripping already. Oh, no. I warned you about this. I've dripped. You don't get much liquid in one of those. You don't. That's like four gulps. That is the shit. Honestly, yeah. if you live in a country where you don't have squash or cordial, just or move. Concept of black currants, you need to move. You need to move. You're missing out. And then, like, this isn't something that would be included in lunchbox, I but it's not sweet. an important. All oh, right, rich kid. <laughs> an important part of British childhood was yeah. going to the tuck shop. Oh yeah. Which well, I the ice cream think schools don't really have sweet shops anymore because no. they figured you pump a child full of sugar, they don't really concentrate. But part of my day was going to the huge line of people buying it and getting yeah. that powder. Or I'd go to the ice cream van and you could either get a condensated hot dog or an ice cream or both at the same time. Basically some mysterious white powder and a lollipop. Sherbet. Sher mm. Oh no, it's everywhere. And then the you just- sherbet. Oh, that is stacked. Do it, Bill. Do it, Bill. A strawberry lollipop. You lick the lolly. Coated in sherbet. And lick the sherbet. Ah, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. That mm. was a lot of white powder. <laughs> if you do it too quickly, you cough. It kind of makes you want to sneeze. <coughs> so for each lunchbox, I have got a snack bonus round. Okay. What have you got representing the UK? Space Raiders. So I've got a variety of flavors. We have saucy barbecue. Oh, that's chicken. saucy. <laughs> beef. Beef. <laughs> and pickled onion again. Okay, I'll try saucy barbecue. Why don't you try beef? Yeah, I'll go for the beef. Each pack has a little alien with facts about them. Wow, mine looks skinny. Fight me IRL. Uh, Look at this one. Wow, your guy's hench. Yeah. I'm scared of him. Whose crisps give you law, guys? Come on. My character's favorite snack is beef flavored Space Raiders. So he's eating himself. I, I can't say that smells like beef. I smell like I beef. Smell like beef. Uh, it smells like crisp beef. Th they're meant to be the face of aliens. I, I mean, I'm gonna say <laughs> that it does look like an alien face. It's like, please <laughs> help me. Okay, here we go. It tastes like the smell of a McDonald's. That's how, <laughs> that's how I would say this tastes. That is so intense. Was it? So that's the UK lunchbox. What are we gonna give that out of 10? I, I'm not gonna give it a rating out of 10. People what? are gonna come for me in the I'm, comments. I'm gonna give it a strong, Seven. Okay, yeah, good for you. I think it's like, it's really endearing yeah. how they're all products. Like, none of it's homemade, apart it's from maybe like a sandwich. Maybe a sandwich. It's all very plastic, it's all very chemically, but it's, you know, it reminds us of the good old 90s when everything was worse. Yeah. Konnichiwa, it's Japan time. Okay, I'm so excited to open this. Yeah, apparently some ready? parents have so much fun 
making the different objects of food. They're not ready for this. <laughs> They're not ready. Look, Look at, at that. that! It's like a okay. piece of art. So Phil, guide me through. We have spicy chicken onigiri and an avocado maki roll. Oh my god, it's like a little cupcake thing. That is so but cute. But not just that, there's a cute little tomato friend soy sauce. Everything should have a face. Okay, well <laughs> give me some soy with All our right. little tomato friend. If you got out anything this delicate in a British playground, someone would just like throw it. It would not around. last. I want the spicy one. Okay, you have your little rice triangle. Okay, here we I'll go. Have the seaweed one. Mm. I mean, I know I love sushi. It's sushi. This is what I've been craving. That's why we're making the video. To be honest, if I could choose a lunch nowadays, I'd probably go for this. Egg. I love how the egg is a cute little rectangle. It literally looks like a cartoon. They, they find a way to, oh my god, Gudetama. It is Gudetama in egg. real life. Oh, Gudetama, no! <laughs> nom, nom, nom. That's got some wasabi in it or something. Wasabi that egg. That is delicious. That is good, right? Mm, a lot tastier than the Lunchables. I'm yes. Gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna put it that so, way. So far. And then forget the dip dab. What is this? A cat face shaped Doriaki bite? Is that melon on the top? Oh, oh okay. Yeah. So it's like a little sponge. It's a little pancake. Filled with some strawberry cream. Oh, and then it has a melon cat on it. Look at it. It's a pancake. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Dib Dab. Oh. It's more of like an American pancake mm. because it's nice and fluffy, not like a, a crepe, oh which God. is basically an English it's pancake. It's like a tiny bit of IHOP in my mouth. Well, that was small, but it was beautiful. Well, presented. Dan, beautiful take what? the good thing about bento boxes is there's two layers. <laughs> Plot twist. Oh my god, okay. The right. shape! <laughs> so if you're wondering who had mad knife skills. Yeah, I'm about to say, uh, did you make all no, this? No, you can actually buy cutters that cut these out into shapes. So if someone's making a, a lunchbox for their child, they can playfully yes. cut everything into shapes. So here we have some edamame with a, a, carrot, a fish. carrot fish. You're yep. using your fingers a lot. I oh, think sorry. in a traditional yeah, rude. Japanese... Would you individually eat edamame beans with chopsticks? I, I think you would. Bean. Mm, and then mm. what are these here? They are octopus sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Everything must be cute. It has to be cute. Okay, or so it's kawaii. an octopus. Oh, or a squid. What's this with the star on? We're gonna get to that. Okay, um, fine. And then we have some rabbit apples on a bed of melon clouds. Excuse me. <laughs> it's an apple rabbit. Yes. Look at that. Rest in peace, Flopsy. The rabbit has no face. Oops. Oh no! The grass is removed! You're destroying the presentation. So then what is this under the, the mystery star? That would be fermented soybeans. No! <laughs> we did this when we went to Tokyo! Oh god, okay. We got okay. it so you can okay. experience it again. It's like a flashback to a holiday. This was one of the worst experiences of my life, but here we are appreciating culture. Oh, it's so sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it have like a condensed milk trail? So you're meant to put a little bit of mayonnaise and a little bit of mustard on it. A little. This is. That is the smallest, it's so small. purest mustard container the world has ever seen. I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm just gonna, I'm <laughs> gonna squeeze this rectangle <laughs> on you. That, that's gonna help hide that. And a little bit of mayo. And uh, mustard and mayo. It's yeah. like some weird, I'll have everything on my hot dog, sure. As I ate all the cheese, I think you need to eat this one. Is me eating fermented soybeans <laughs> really you eating a Lunchable yes. slice? Down it fresher. This is school lunches, not, not university peer pressure. Mmm, <laughs> congealy oh. strings. I, I literally don't even know what that is. You can do it. <laughs> Describe the flavors. It tasted like... Oh, mayonnaise! Ooh, a lot of mustard, that's spicy, and then under- what, what's that underneath? You take a bean, right, yeah. which is like the, the bland, mushy nothing, and then also a bit of like, oh, this is tinned food, like some, some tinned tuna or yeah. something, and then combine it together into just one smoky hell bean. <laughs> well, well done on eating it. I mean, Phil, I had some baby bell and oh, some thick- okay. Come on, a single bean. Oh, I'm scared! Come on, get those strings in your mouth. Mm. Oh, no! Cancel. <laughs> it's like cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> Set it stuck first. It's attached to your hand. No. You're rubbing it on no. your face. It's still no. there. I need the space, space raiders. raiders. Woo! Oh. Just annihilate my palate. And you're gonna need something to wash this down. Don't Absolutely. worry, it's not squid juice. I, I, that. I have got a Pokemon drink. It's Sun and Moon official merch. Look, look at Litten yep. getting, getting litty with your drinking. I think it's called a Ramen. Okay. And it's something about there being a marble in the top to stop it coming out, but then you have to like whack the marble into the you, drink. I, you just said a whole yeah, process I that know. I've never encountered before. It's in Japanese, so I don't know what it says. That's the marble. Right, so you can't 
yeah. open that and you can't like unscrew it. No. And then this okay. is your marble plunger. So you need to right. put that on top of here. Oh my god, this feels like I'm solving a puzzle and or then something. Whack it in. <laughs> yeah, go on, Harder. Woo! Wow! Okay. There it goes! That seems so unnecessary. I don't, why I don't, don't I just know have why, a screw cap? I don't know why it's so intricate, but I love it. It's Pikachu's tears. Melon flavor? Melon. I think. Oh, that is delicious. It's like fizzy flavored water. Yeah. The complete opposite of like a lilt or a, an iron brew. Don't worry, we're not gonna end on that sour note. I did sour. get a reward. Okay. Uh, oh, I it's the this. Japanese bonus snack. Okay. Some donut biscuits. Right. Again, cute animals. Cute. I'm with it. And then some caramel corn flavored shrimp. That's a lot of things combined I, I in one object I there. I think they're just crisps. Okay, fine. Let's go for their crisps first. Okay. Be what? Strong to open that. what is caramel corn? That's like an American flavor. It's like isn't candy it? corn. Right, so it's supposed to look like a shrimp. Yeah. It's like deep frying potato chips in sugar. <laughs> um, you've managed to improve mm. everything. Oh, look at oh. those. There we go. All right, I'm going to take one. It looks like mini donuts. Do they have a flavor? Is, I'm guessing it's just like I think sugar. It's, yeah. That is sweet. No, just sugar in the shape of a circle. I would take that over a soybean any day, would we? <laughs> So how do you rate the Japanese box, Dan? I mean, firstly, on presentation, no offense, Mr. Men London Underground, but you can't even compare. Like, yeah. how ugly is Western so culture? So ugly compared it's to that. Like, why, why are you even trying? I don't know. Like, it was not just a nice eating thing. It, yeah. like, teaches young people to appreciate beauty you just and effort. have to shove a face on anything. crafting things. I'm gonna give the Japan lunchbox an eight. Wow, you, you've done it, Phil. Done it. Your rating system, you crazy guy. Downhill from the fermented soybeans. I yes. know they have some pickled, fishy things as well. Yeah, yeah there like. are some other things that you might find strange. Yeah, but overall presentation and flavors. It was a beautiful experience. You gotta think about the environment. I mean, you take one of those bento boxes into a British school, someone's just gonna throw it over the fence into a train. It's true. Where would you have the time to undo your little soy sauce tomato <laughs> and go like that. No, in, in England, it's like it's a water slam pistol. your Lunchables and then duck. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed being here. Thank yeah. you for providing me. And to be honest, gonna keep that. This, you know, it's not a cheese suit. It's not a squid suit. I think we've done quite well for ourselves here. Definitely. Like, keep it on for a bit. So as we said, we are obsessed with this Japanese food yes, anime that called inspired food Wars. us to make this video. And thanks to Crunchyroll, we are able to give you a 30-day trial of Crunchyroll Premium. Yeah, this is something that you can get on any of your devices. Basically, yeah. you you can log in, watch all this anime, no adverts, boom, and then you'll ruin your life like us. Just go to crunchyroll.com forward slash Phil. Or slash Dan. Or slash I, Dan. I think they did that too. You've got one as well. They felt sorry for me that yeah. I must include Dan. And you can get your 30 day trial. And it's a perfect thing for when you're binge watching stuff over Christmas. Just yes. shove some anime in your mix. life with some anime. We're also watching another show called The Ancient Mega Sprite on there as yeah, well. Yeah, I talked on my live shows about how that's made me cry. Watashi no Goku. And speaking of school, there's My Hero Academia, oh my gosh. which is a superhero school I anime. That. that was so good. There's one for everything. L your whole festive season is sorted. Ready with those to go days. down the drain. The anime drain. Yeah. So oh, if I you haven't crawled out in <laughs> months. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs hey. up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Boop. Click on down down there. We're also making a video every day leading up to Christmas over yes. on the gaming channel. So much content. So there is one here More if you want to you can handle. check that out. Hope you're good. Maybe don't eat fermented soybeans unless you want to. Bye. Bye.